everyone be like, yo, where's Gotham Knights? Where's Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? And I'm like, bro, where's Arkham World? Remember Arkham World? Yeah. Yeah, that was... That was something. So, how are you ladies and gentlemen doing? Hopefully doing good, um, enjoying your time, maybe uh, enjoying your weekend. Uh, at least when I'm recording this, it's the weekend, but it won't be when I upload this. It'll probably be many, many days into the future. But let's talk about something uh, special, something uh, something that we really need to talk about when it comes to um, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League coming out. And that is by far Gotham Knights. Now, a lot of people have already... <sighs> How do I put this lightly? A lot of people dislike um, or have a bad track, or, track record with DC because of Gotham Knights. So I might as well give my thoughts on Gotham Knights since it's kind of useful to the video. Generally what I think is that the game is like, it, I, I hesitate to call it good. I, I enjoy the game. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine, but I wouldn't say the game is good. I think they're, uh, it's mostly just the gameplay like the story stuff is pretty serviceable and pretty good at times So the story isn't the problem. It's the gameplay the gameplay of that game is just in Completely one note so a lot of people when Gotham Knights came out already started to like crap on the game And the thing is is that when I watched um, Gotham Knights released I watched it very carefully the community's reactions and such like so much so that when one of the trailers dropped at the game awards um People in the group chat of the official Discord server of Gotham Knights started to freak out and and uh, said, nah, dead game, not good game, blah, blah, blah. It was all over the place. I think that there was a track record of Gotham Knights hate before the game even came out. Honestly, I was, I, I, I flipped back and forth to being one of them and one, um, and not one of them. But, I mean, why, why is this the case? Why does Gotham Knights get the treatment that it does and has this tie back into Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? So I think one of the things that overshadows the whole game is the Arkham series. Now, I got a uh, very interesting comment, so I'll pull it up right now. This one comes from Justin Money 2149 He left a comment on my video of if it's our fault for the Suicide Squad game failing. And his comment was, I have a feeling people are going to hate on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League just because it's not another Arkham game. It's like all the people want from DC, sadly from Gotham Knights, suffered that I enjoyed Gotham Knights. I still play it. I'm excited for Suicide Squad because it, it's different from Arkham. I want to see what Rocksteady can do outside their comfort zone and give them a chance. And it's amazing because we finally get to see Rocksteady's vision of the Justice League. Now that was a bit muddied, but I think the real reason or the real thing that he was trying to hammer home is the Arkham part. Because here's the thing. The the problem with creating such a big franchise, like, you know, like the Arkham games, the issue then runs into is, how do we overdo that? And the reason why that's so scary is because the bigger the game is, the harder it's to get out of its shadow. Now, we didn't have this problem with Batman Telltale, because Batman Telltale was basically just... A Telltale game but with a Batman skin on it, you know. Um, then there was, then there was the Injustice games, but the Injustice games really can't be compared because the genres aren't even close to each other, so they're completely different and can't be compared to each other. If anything, it can be compared more to Mortal Kombat than it can to the Arkham games. So we're left with basically Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League both having to live up to the expectations of the Arkham games. That's a hard thing to bypass. So basically, the reason why Gotham Knights gets compared to Arkham is because it's very closely based around the Arkham system. Batman dies even at the end of it, and now his sidekicks have to take the reins. Some of the combat mechanics are even pretty similar to the Arkham game, so of course it's going to be compared. Even though these two studios have nothing in common, they, um, they both get compared. And of course, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League gets compared to the Arkham games because Rocksteady made the Arkham games. I guess it's just a win or lose scenario when it comes to just trying to stand out from the competition. And that's just how it is. The Arkham games left a huge impact on people. Whether you like the games or not, um, it clearly left an impact on so many others. And I don't even know, how much did the Arkham games sell? Let's find out. Let's see what a quick Google search does. Wow. It reached over 5 million copies. 
in just the first few months. It hit 5 million units globally sold at October 2015. It released in 2015. Globally franchise marketing manager for Arkham City said the game, this is Arkham City, remember, sold 12.5 million copies. So obviously, a lot of people are going to say that it has an impact on them because there's just so much to it. There's so much at stake, and especially when Arkham Knight came out, because I, I don't, I disagree with the fact that Arkham Knight was a bad game or something, because Arkham Knight was clearly the best in the trilogy and best in the overall Arkham sense, but you guys will never accept that, which is weird, by the way, because when people now talk about Arkham Knight, they tend to overpraise it, and it's weird because, like, where were you guys back in 2015 when the game released? Like, everybody said that the game was bad or something, and that it was... Um, not as good as Arkham City, but, you know, years later, we obviously know that that's false, so whatever. But, you know what I mean. So, to wrap up this video real quick, we need to understand that the fact that the Arkham games left a huge impact, and they're going to be compared. That's just a sad reality that we face. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. People, people are going to compare games no matter what. I do think the comparison sometimes is a bit unfair, and a bit unwarranted, but it's just the reality that we live in. So I think that people came into predictions with how Gotham Knights would be because of the Arkham games, because they had a, a standard held so high, but we really shouldn't be comparing ourselves to that. So even though this video is titled The Gotham Knights Effect, this is really more of the Arkham effect, the Batman Arkham effect on the DC games as a whole. And with that, I'll leave it um, with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Ooh, imagine doing that. Imagine unironically actually hitting that subscribe button. Psh, couldn't be me. Anyway, enjoy your rest of your day.